Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create that military camo title in DaVinci Resolve, so let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page, we're going to go over to Effect, Effect and here we're just going to bring a new Fusion composition in our timeline. Now let's move over to Fusion. Here in Fusion, I'm going to bring a background first, then I'm going to go over in Template, Edit, generator and here i'm going to bring the contour generator i'm going to link the output of the contour to the background and just creating a merge i'm going to link the merge to the media out and i'm just going to bring here a rectangular mask and then i'm just going to link that to my merge too so basically we're going to use the contour to create our camo background first off i want to reduce the background of my alpha channel here down to zero and then going back to my contour i'm going to select number three and we're going to start from this pattern to creating our camo. So here I'm going to play with the degree, detail and scale to get the pattern that I want. But feel free to play with those parameters to get something that you enjoy. I'm going to reduce the degree because I don't want to have too many uh, parts. Then the detail, I'm going to just decrease it a little bit as well to have something that is quite smooth. The more you're going to increase it, the more crumble everything going to look. That might be uh, something that you like. Right now, I'm just going to reduce it so I have a smooth surface. And then the scale, if you increase it, you're going to have more parts. But if you decrease it, you're going to have less parts. So here, I'm just going to go anywhere, uh, somewhere in between like that, I think. And then here, as you can see, it's static for now. But here, you can just increase the movement rate and it will just start to move around. So here, I've played around with the three value to get the look that I want. Now, we can just scroll down here to shadow. I'm going to increase the softness quite a bit like so i think it's always nice to add some shadow to the design because it just helps to create depth into the image then i'm gonna go over to color here and i'm gonna change the color of the gradient so i just went quickly online and i pull up this uh, camo chart pattern so then you can just uh, copy the color code and paste it so here i'm selecting the end of my gradient color i'm gonna go over here to change the x color and then just here right click paste and that same process for the green select the first point on the gradient and here switch the color as well i've choose to go with green and brown but you can add color you can add black and then here you can play with the gradient point to really uh, get the color that you want you can adjust uh, and add other points so here for example we could add black if we want and then you can just play around uh, with those color and just get the exact color tone that you want so now i'm happy with that we've created it all pattern now we're just gonna add some text and adjust here the mask so i'm gonna click the mask and here i'm gonna adjust the corner radius to have some rounded corner then i'm gonna bring a text node here in my working area just link the output of the text node to the merge tool and here we're gonna write operation 52 for example i'm gonna switch the font for Montserrat. Then go back to the mask to adjust it accordingly to give uh, about the same amount of space on the side and on the top and bottom like so and now again to create more depth i'm just gonna add some drop shadows so here i'm gonna select my merge tool it shift space search for drop shadow and then just bring that node right here as you can see just creating a shadow all around there and it will help separate the title with the background and here i'm actually going to do the same thing with the text so here i'm going to select the text it shift space and here bring the drop shadow again and help the text uh, get separated from the camo background if the intensity of the drop shadow is too much you can reduce the shadow strength you can uh, adjust here the drop angle as well uh, and the drop distance so here i'm going to reduce the drop distance a little bit I'm going to reduce the strength and I'm just going to uh, reset the drop angle uh, as default. Now for the animation, you can do whatever you'd like. There is plenty of tutorial on the channel uh, that can show you different uh, kind of animation you could apply for this title. The purpose right now was just to share with you how to create that camel look. Uh, if you don't want to bother and just have a simple opacity animation, you can just drag the slider right here and it will just create a simple fade in. So now I'm just going to bring some footage just to show you how it look. And so if we play it now, this is how it looks. And actually, now that I see how it looks, I would like to add a bit of opacity here to the background so it uh, merged nicely with the footage. So I'm going to go back to Fusion here in Rectangle. I'm going to change the level from 1 to 0 0.9. And then I'm just going to go back to the edit page and let's see. 
yeah i like it like that i think it's nice that here we have a bit of transparency it just make it look a bit nicer in my opinion all right so we saw how to create that camo which is the core of this video but i would like to share with you a couple of other design possibilities that you could create with this so the first one here that i think would be very cool is going to rectangle here antique solid as you can see it make the whole thing disappear and here we're just gonna increase the border width and it's just gonna be a border instead of having a fully filled background so i'm just gonna increase that a little bit like that and now we could have it that way now what if i would like to not having this in white but instead having it affected as camo as well you could do that right here by just selecting the text one then here clicking on the merge to bring a new merge node and then you can just bring the output of the text one to the foreground here on the green arrow and then you can just select here your contour and drag it here to the background with your yellow arrow and then here in merge you can just go to the operator and then switch it for mask and that the text is camo as well all right so the last look that i would like to share with you we need to just go back to the first thing that we've done and here uh, what we can try to do is changing the merge right here from over to stencil it will just transform that text as a see-through text so if we go back as you can see now we can just see through the background that we've created but uh, it's not super clear and easy to read so we're just gonna add some uh, edges to that with some outline so i'm gonna just here select my text one copy it and then right click on my working area click paste instance then just link the output of that paste instance to my merge and then here going back to my instance text i can just go to shading here i'm gonna right click on appearances i'm gonna de-instance that i'm gonna right click on my colors and i'm gonna de-instance color group and here i'm gonna switch for outline here i'm just gonna reduce the thickness actually and now let's go back and play it perfect all right, and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share those principles with you and a few design ideas. Let me know if you enjoyed those kind of video where I cover more than the actual topic and try to share with you a couple of design ideas because uh, I really enjoy making them. So let me know all that in the comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.